I'm Sean Richardson, and this is my song, You and Me. I was introduced to music at a really young age. Um, my whole family has been musical. Uh, every sibling on my mom's side has played an instrument, um, and some have done it professionally. Uh, my uncle played with a guy named Michael Martin Murphy, who I actually play with now. And when I was really young, I was super inspired to pick up the fiddle, which was my first instrument, and that was at the age of four. And before I actually got a real fiddle, I used to play with Tinker Toys, and I used to build my own instruments out of them and pretend I was playing. So after a year of that kind of went on, my parents decided it was finally time to get a real instrument, so I'd stop playing with this plastic instrument that I thought was real. So uh, they got me a fiddle at four, and I learned how to play that. And uh, more instruments kept stacking up as I got older. That was kind of my intro to music. A big reason that we homeschooled was so we could have the opportunity to make time to go out and do performances and gigs. Um, we obviously started the band, uh, Cats and the Fiddler, really young. We were all six when we performed our first gig uh, downtown Milford at the gazebo. One thing led to another and people were like, hey, I want to get those kids that played at the gazebo. And ever since then, it just, it sparked. So, um, like I said, we've done tons of shows and some of the best moments of my life have been on the stage with those guys because they're, they're actually my family. So. Uh, by the time we were 10, we were cutting our first record, and we did four, um, one of which was nominated for the DMA. Um, but homeschooling really gave us a, uh, and it allowed us to have an amount of time to devote to practicing and, and performing, not diminishing the importance of our schooling because we did eight to three every day with standardized testing and projects, and it was the same deal. Not only was I able to do music with homeschool, but when I got into high school, um, everyone was really receptive on um, just the music we were doing. Um, I still have people that text me today about uh, what I'm doing, what kind of shows are coming up, or you and me. And we were doing 30 to 40 shows a year for a good number of the years. We were traveling out of state. We had gone to the DMAs, the Detroit Music Awards. We were nominated for an award there. And we just, it got pretty big. We were doing a lot. So having the time and the parents and the help was, I just, I couldn't ask for a better support team. Because anything we wanted to do, I mean, they were just, full into it. I'm ever grateful for it. Yeah, like you said, I play for Michael Martin Murphy now. Uh, back in, I guess it would be last summer, my uncle was doing a festival down in Taos, New Mexico. And he and Michael happened to be at the same festival. So Michael had caught up with him and my uncle had learned that he had been looking for a new lead guitar player, mandolin player, you know of that sort and my uncle recommended me. It was a couple months later and I got an email asking if I wanted to do the Christmas tour. We actually couldn't line up an audition, there was just no time. He's touring constantly so I came in without an audition and went to rehearsal week and then the rest is history. We just did our thing. I was like, I get to play with the person that inspired me to play music in the first place. for the future. Well, I'm going to be playing with Michael for, for a while. Um, it's my job right now, but I think as I grow older, I'd really like to make it with my band. We have a lot of connections with Nashville already, and I, I go there probably four times a year. Um, and I've got a lot of people in the industry that want to help me out, and a lot of people that have taken a liking to our music. So I think, I think one day, I hope, but I think you'll see Cats in the Fiddle are doing something. I really hope so.
I play 20 instruments. Or, you, give or take. Can you name some off? Just just rapid fire? Let's try. See, they're organized into families, so it helps me order them. Like, oh, go ahead. I play the fiddle. I can also play the viola. I can play the cello. I can play the bass. I play the mandolin. So I can play the mandola. I can play the octave mandolin. I can play the mando cello. I play the guitar. I play the banjo. I play the dobro. I play the ukulele, the drums, keyboard, bass. Um, I sing this instrument. Uh, let's see. What else am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting something. I can play the B3 organ. Uh, What's the B3 organ? Oh, it's just, it's just like an organ. It just, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, it is what it is. It's like a, they use it in a lot of tracks. Um, let's see, what else do I play? Hmm. And maybe it. Maybe about it. No. Oh, the uh, Mountain Dulcimer. 